All right, here we are again. <clears throat> uh, I am. This is a follow-up video to the sampling videos I did. Those videos, there's one that I used an ammo kit and another one that I sampled noise feedback from a mixer. Uh, it was a it was a feedback loop in a mixer, and I uh, grabbed those uh, through an amp. And there was two amps that I used uh, while doing that. One of them was an old trainer amp. Uh, it's it sort of blown out. It's, it doesn't sound properly anymore. And there's also a Marshall mini stack that I have that uh, uh, it's it's it it's battery powered. It's it's primarily used for you know people who are busking or or even just like just to get a different quality sound out of it so today we're discussing the the feedback so this song is called it this the the sample is in there's actually a couple of samples that I use in this uh, song death cult <clears throat> and this is off the upcoming album Data Bomb. I'm not sure if you'll see this before or after, uh, probably most likely after uh, the album releases, but I thought I would just do this follow up video. And yeah, this is for the song Death Cult. There's actually, I think there's two, yeah, I think there's two uh, samples that I use uh, from the, the noise uh, feedback loop sessions that I did. Uh, sampling sessions and I'll play a little bit of the song first just so you can kind of hear and then what I'll do is I'll solo those uh, channels so you can hear the sound specifically and then I'll go into the effects and all that kind of stuff that I used on it to make it sound different uh, once again the sound the samples sound way fucking different than their original uh, when they were originally sampled Typically, that's what happens, uh, at least with my stuff, is I'll sample something and then I'll get in, into, like, the sound design aspect and, like, completely change the fucking sample into something completely different. So, we'll just play the song, I'll let you hear a little bit of it, and then we'll get into some of the samples. So, here's the song. I am using uh, audio from my camera, and you'll just have to deal with that, so. There's part of the song. Uh, you, there's both of the samples are in that particular piece of the song that you had just heard. Uh, I'll just uh, solo the uh, the sounds so that you can hear how I changed it. So the first one is uh, a low noise sample, and where is it? Longer noise, yeah, this one. So we'll just solo that. This one comes in in the intro. You can barely hear it, but that's what it sounds like. And it's in the intro of the song. This is the sound. So, that's kind of the sound. Let's, now I only used a wave shaper on this, so. You know, whoops, wrong fucking track here. 
I used a reverb, so now you can barely fucking hear it, because there's no, none of that uh, room sound. I also used a parametric EQ to EQ some of the lower end out, because it was a little too... Uh, and as you can see, the EQ is pretty fucking extreme there. Uh, I basically took the mids or a portion of the mids and just created this very large <laughs> uh, uh, frequency uh, boost and we'll just take all the effects off so that I've taken the both the parametric EQ off and the reverb and that's what it kind of sounds like and I think what I did if I remember correctly is I actually edited it another piece of software uh, Soundforge 6 I do believe and I lowered the uh, pitch very, to an extreme point so this is a pitch down version of the uh, e, uh, mixer feedback loop that I was using I'll just throw those back on and as you can hear, it's, just, it's very, like as you can see with the EQ here, the parametric EQ, it's got a very, uh, it's got a lot of white noise type sounds. I boosted that, uh, that area because that's the kind of sound I wanted and I thought it added to the ambience with the reverb added to it and that's kind of that sound so there's another sound in here that I uh, used from that uh, feedback mixer feedback session and let's just cue this up uh, yeah okay let's see here and let's just hear it. So that's that sound is another feedback sound that I used. And this is the one with the wave shaper. So I take the wave shaper off. Let's just see what the distortion looks like. That's that's what I'm doing to it. This distortion thing. Uh I put it back on. Let's turn it on again. Oops. Let's go back. So what you're seeing here <clears throat> is it's playing this right there. That's the part of the song. And with the wave shaper, it kind of it exaggerates uh, or kind of. Like if I take this off, it's quieter, and yeah, so that's that's kind of the the sounds I used in this song uh, from the mixer feedback loop that I had created uh, in the those sampling session videos that uh, you may have seen. Those are just two of the sounds, two of the samples out of that session. And uh, I don't know if I, if I had any other songs that I actually used the, those uh, feedback noises. Uh, I will check if I have I'll do another video in regards to that but uh, yeah that's it for this video I hope you found it entertaining and educational and uh, if you enjoyed this video please give it a like if you feel it has value please share if you have any questions leave them in the comment section and uh, as a side note here I have used other samples in these songs on the album a lot of the well not a lot of them but there's a there's a few that I didn't create myself that I pulled from various sites online uh, I made sure that they were Creative Commons uh, uh, sounds where I could 
just use them and not have to worry about crediting the the original post uh, poster of these sounds because uh, I don't want to get into all that hole if I end up making money from this you know whatever that whole thing so I made sure that they were free to use and had the Creative Commons license that you didn't have to attribute it to them or or pay them or whatever it was they were just free to use and free free to go good, good to go kind of thing so anyway if you have any questions leave them in the comment section and if you feel this channel has value please subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified of the next video so see you in the next video just wanted to give you folks a, a little note here uh, about sampling and stuff uh, that's the thing with samples like obviously all the sampling I did all the time I spent sampling the uh, ammo kit and the <clears throat> Uh, mixer feedback loop uh, you know there there's a lot of fucking sounds in there that I can use and utilize right so like you know it's, even though I've only used little snippets of the samples in each of the songs those samples can go a long fucking way like I can <laughs> manipulate them even further and use them in other songs and you know it, it's endless like you know, you don't have to just sample something once and then just use it only once and, you know, never use it again thing. Like, the, at least I think the idea with any sounds or any samples or anything is that you utilize it to its fullest, fullest extent. Uh, and especially when it comes to samples. Synth sounds are a little different. I mean, with synth sounds, you know, you 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 want to have different sounding synth sounds because having the same synth sounds is just boring and your songs will sound boring and stuff but with samples you can take them and manipulate them over and over and over again and you know you, you know use them in so many different ways that you know it's it's endless so uh, even though I've only used, like I said, even though I've only used a couple of snippets of these samples, uh, I will say that there is countless and endless inspiration and endless uses for these samples. So it is very likely that I will go in and manipulate the samples t into s some other kind of sound and use it in a different song or a new song or whatever so i just thought i'd just give you that little note i hope you enjoyed these videos uh and uh these little follow-up videos and uh yeah uh see you in the next video